Well, hello everyone and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. I'm here with uh, Laura, who's apparently ready to go. So, <laughs> bye. <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> and the wonderful April, who doesn't want to go anywhere. No, I'm in for the long haul. Mm, so April got wonderful and I didn't. Okay then. Mm. Julie noted. Julie noted. You just got to wipe your contributions if you want wonderful. <laughs> so last time we sat amongst the cauliflower and leeks. Mm -hmm. No, I can't remember what we did actually last time, but I think we. Um, looks like we're no. in the middle of reading something. It looks like we're in the middle of reading something. What it was, I can't remember. So I tell you what. Tell you what. Let's find out together. Okay. <laughs> We know at some point we got bubble tea. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's most likely the case. <laughs> Rina ran back to her stripping job. <laughs> actually, a lot of people are saying that Rina might actually be Mystica. That accounts for the calloused hands. Mm. 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 Oh, and that says it. That does look like a stripper costume. Yeah, true. Sorry, oh. April. What were you saying? Oh, Sid has something to say about it. Sid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, don't shush the star of the show. <laughs> so, okay, I sit alone in my personal training grounds, located in the wooded mountains surrounding the castle. As much as I relish each visit, I always feel guilty for having asked for it to be built for me. But, to be honest, I didn't need to have made it ask for it to be made out of lard. <laughs> I really needed a retreat of some sort. A place to be myself, for myself. And absolutely alone. A fortress. A fortress of aloneness. <laughs> Being the centre of attention all the time is really demanding. Oh, don't I know, darling. <laughs> and I can never hear myself think. But here, I can relax and sort out my feelings. Because I wanted it solely for my own use, I asked for as little as possible. So there's only 14 bedrooms, 3 bathrooms... <laughs> An Olympic-sized swimming pool, <laughs> not counting the stables that are in the pool. <laughs> so there's only a large stone platform here with a tiny house, built like those in the outer realm. It makes me feel as if I've stepped into an entirely different world when I come here. It's made out of marzipan. <laughs> Everyone calls the platform the Prince's Stage. As for how it got that name, I snuck away from my retinue once to visit the village nearest here. As I was passing through, I was struck by a pale girl in a white dress complaining of boredom. She was far more and less bored after she struck me. <laughs> I felt bad for her, and wound up giving the town permission to use the platform as a festival ground. The day I made the proclamation also became a holiday called the Prince's Festival, held on the Prince's Stage. I also had some training grounds constructed there for the girls of the village to practice. It wasn't hard, all they need is to don a bikini and they can do what they want. <laughs> all I did was announce that I wanted them built. Well built. Wearing very little. My royal mother was overjoyed with the idea and smiled at me for days on end. That was scary, especially in the bathroom. <laughs> it made a lot of other people happy too. She wasn't smiling at them. Come to think of it. That's probably what gave me the idea to turn my personal sanctuary into my own training ground. But today, I'm reading a book in the shade of a tree near the platform. It's a rare and difficult volume, written in a foreign language from the outer world. Whether the stories are real or not, the strange ways of the people there are fascinating. And how they went up the hill to fetch a pail of water, it's just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Did Jack fall down? <laughs> Indeed, but fortunately his crown could be glued back together again. <laughs> I think that was haunting. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I'm fairly certain that uh, Humpty came tumbling after. No. <laughs> Jill came tumbling after. No, no, no. Jill, um, Jill had 10,000 men. <laughs> now you pointed out that he's wrong, he's just going to own it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Nobody I'm, does I'm, rubbish like I do rubbish. I'm gonna be so wrong. 
Suddenly, faint voices in my head in, in the bushes nearby rouse me from my thoughts. <laughs> <In my head. laughs> Ladies, I am so sick and tired of you getting in my way. <laughs> ha! I could say the same about you. <laughs> Those voices sound awfully familiar. That's right, it's the same two girls I overheard at the last tournament. Alright, fine. Let's have a duel to settle this once and for all, right here, right now. The oh, guards won't hear anything from this distance, and the prince is nowhere nearby. What were the voices we said? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so, so the loser gets left behind to be found by the guards and thrown into prison? Works for me. That was right. the All you need to do now is believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> Sorry, wrong anime. I hear, I hear the grim. <laughs> 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 It's been a few weeks since I've done it. Come on, I've been good. Yes, yes but it's a few weeks since we've done this. <laughs> so basically, you're one for one. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, um, I don't know. What do you, what do you call that? I'm just eager to please. Serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I, I was just going to say bossy, but we'll go with the serious. Okay. <laughs> You love it. I do. Boss me more. Boss me. I hear the grim sounds of staves being ready for combat. Wait. Astonishingly. <laughs> That's my voice. I know. One of the girls speaks up in a trembling voice, impersonating the other one almost perfectly. Right, go then. No, that's you. Oh, but see, I've got your voice in my head now. Well, Get your own damn voice. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we make a deal, please? That's not you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I, I really have to win the next tournament. I have to. If I don't, my parents will something. They'll whip me. And, and I, I just can't go through with that again. They'll starve me to death or one of these days. I just don't know, or I just know it. Starve her. The idea of a parent deliberately withholding food over a tournament loss is so ridiculous I can't even wrap my head around it at first. Gritting my teeth, I strain my ears even harder, not to miss a single detail. You, you see, my parents, they really <laughs> want me to win more than anything. You realise that you're swapping the same person's lines here, don't you? Okay, just as long as you understand, all right. <laughs> well, I figured know. that out part way through, but... <laughs> You know, when I, I don't even know what to do here. When I don't perform well, I don't get to eat, and it gets worse every time. Well, I, mean, I don't think people come here for make things that make sense, so I think we're alright. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just toss a coin. That's you, Simon. That's you. Oh, okay, fine. Right, if you insist. <laughs> that's... That's barbaric. How dare they call themselves parents, much less human beings. I can't allow this to continue. It's cruel, horrific, and unbelievably pointless. I'm sorry, but even if you say that, I still can't let you win. My mother punishes me every time, it, and it lasts longer, and bleh, gets worse. <laughs> I can't take it any longer. One day I'm really going to start enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I am utterly dumbfounded by the revelations pouring out from these two girls. I never would have imagined such misery laid behind their single-minded determination to win. I'm strangely aroused. <laughs> no. No way. This can't continue. I have to do something. I will do something. Unfortunately, there's a bush over there. <laughs> but first, I have the weirdest boner. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, a final fight here? To see who will smile and who will cry in the end. <laughs> <laughs> You're on. Neither of us have any choice at this point. <laughs> oh, God. I hear the clatter of their magic staves again. There's no time. I have to stop them, but clack, clack. I've only got one hand free. Clack, clack, clack. <laughs> Both of you, halt this instant, I called out as I reveal myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it just writes itself, doesn't it? 
god. <laughs> then we both sink to our knees. <laughs> he's revealed himself. Okay. I hope the carpet stopped. <laughs> Your Highness! <laughs> they turn and cry in unison, then sink to their knees. Both of their faces are deathly pale. In the sight of my magic scepter. That is, that is me and April, actually. We both are quite ladies, deathly pale. Ladies, ladies, I have a position for you on my staff. <laughs> <laughs> they appear to be around my age, except for their unusually high capacity staves i'm jealous they look like two charming perfectly normal girls who i could imagine studying magic in a carefree way with their friends if i hadn't just heard them confess i never would have thought it possible is it all true i question them in a firm voice the two girls glance up at me startled but quickly turn away they seem afraid to meet my gaze go ahead laura Yes. <clears throat> One of the girls mutters, <laughs> voicing the other girl's um, uh, lines nervously. <laughs> From the day I was born. <laughs> right, no, right. <laughs> <laughs> From the day I was born, my parents. I'm just going to go back to Scottish, it's easier. My parents have raised me to be your bride. Every day and night, I practice to make their dreams a reality. If I don't become queen, I'm, I'm worthless to them. I've even picked up this accent because apparently it pleases you. <laughs> My parents are the same way. No, no, no. Scott's accent, I'm afraid, because it pleases the prince. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No. Yes. No. Just try yes. it. Yes. Still working on it. Just now everybody bit. on the whole of YouTube is going, yes! Just a little yes! bit. Just close your yeah. eyes, open your senses, feel the people on the other side of the screen crying out, do the Scots accent. Do the Scots accent. Hootsman, do the Scots accent. My parents and are do the, the same Scots way. Accent. <laughs> you gotta read the narration part. Oh, yeah. You should insist. <laughs> the other girl swallows painfully, then continues. <laughs> Becoming queen is all they've ever, ever talked about. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm nervous. Becoming queen is all they ever talk about. I'm getting like into, into Ukrainian. Like I know, I was going to say. Sister. Becoming queen is all they ever talk about. <laughs> Every waking moment. But I do, but, but I do nothing but so, but train, so I may someday win your heart. <laughs> I'll just bet it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, like... I'm begging back to Siberia with me, yes. Uh... Yeah, we're, we're rolling into the east. <laughs> Asia, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you attempted it, honey. That's a weird thing. You put me on the spot. You've heard I can do it better than that, but I need practice. Right, we've done American East uh, <laughs> uh, to uh, Scottish to sort of vaguely Ukrainian to... <laughs> so The looks on both their faces are so empty <laughs> and defeated. Oh it's as if they gave up on themselves the moment <laughs> I discovered them. Oh. Killed Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, are you all right? <laughs> 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 Is that coughing? Sorry. <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> you better clean those cat those those lungs up before the cats eat them. <laughs> oh my god! I was totally over my cold, and then Chris got the cold, and now he's gave me back a cough from hell, and it just catches you. So. Oh, very nice of him. It was so sweet. Yeah. And they they say that old married tired couples never give people presents. <laughs> Are you aware of the punishment for trespassing here? I inquire. <laughs> it wasn't my idea, but everyone insisted it had to be this way for my own safety. <laughs> April. No, you say it. No, you say it. No, you say it. Yes, no, we've thrown into prison for 10 years. No exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> One of the girls answers dully. Missing a perfect opportunity to use the word gulag. The other one nods once in agreement and stares at the ground. Knowing this, both of you decided to come here anyway. He's I really demand stupid. sternly. Sorry. I just, yes. It just struck me. <laughs> I wanted to learn more about you, your highness. Something that would give me an edge over the other girls. 
and getting closer to you. <laughs> what was that? that was, well, in that case, uh, that was California and New York. You're back again. <laughs> You're well, awkward. in that case, next. <laughs> Well, in that case, my dear, next time, turn up naked and bring beer. <laughs> that was my plan. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely you this time, April. Oh, sorry. That was my plan, too. I knew I couldn't stand out on enough on my own. I needed something special, something to put me over the top. <laughs> oh, there's no doubt about that. You're definitely over the top. <laughs> Tears are cascading freely down their cheeks now. One of the girls turns her face away from me to hide them. Both of them have been driven to such corners that ten years of the dungeon become an acceptable risk. Just for that? So, you came here solely because you were afraid of being punished, and for no other reason, I ask? It is exactly <laughs> as you say, Your Highness. One of the girls <laughs> replies. Yes, Your Highness. Though it no longer matters, seeing as we would both be spending the next ten years in, du in the dungeon. It's not truly their fault. Their parents are the ones to blame. I cannot easily oppose the will of my royal mother, the queen, in this, or anything else for that matter, especially when she's following me into the toilet. <laughs> but fortunately, <laughs> she loves me and indulges me despite the fact that I was born male. Yeah, oh, Norman, no. Norman. I oh, know, I'm getting that vibe. <laughs> I am the prince of your company, country. I'm the prince of your company. I am your CEO, <laughs> and you shall obey my command. <laughs> I declare. Yes, your yes, highness. Your highness. <laughs> they both speak with their heads bowed and in flat voices that tell me they're ready to accept whatever cruel fate is handed down to them, even death. Can the two of you evade the guards around the perimeter without my help? I ask. They look. They both look up, confused, but with the glimmers of intelligent, no, of hope <laughs> dawning in their eyes. Yes, uh, we can do that easily, Your Highness. Yeah, I'm nodding right one, now. <laughs> <laughs> one girl assures me. The other one nods in affirmation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Then I command both of you to do so. You will both compete in the next tournament. Afterwards, you will be approached by a representative from the Royal Magic Academy. I will speak with the headmistress on behalf of both of you. The Royal Magic Academy? One of them squeaks in disbelief, <laughs> apparently unable to accept cult easy sentences. <laughs> but, but that's the most prestigious academy there is. The only, they only accept the best of the best. Well, don't worry, they'll accept you too as well. <laughs> One could One... become a lower... Oh, wait, sorry. Okay. No, 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 no. One could become a royal guard, an artisan, or... Or will anything? Any of the elite magical careers could be possible. That is indeed correct. With your natural talent and hard work on your parts, I'm confident that both of you can achieve anything you desire. As your prince, I command you to choose the career path which will make you the happiest. Don't become a royal guard for any other reason, I had hastily as an afterthought. Just to be honest with you, take any job, just as long as it gets you away from me. <laughs> It would be necessary to live in the Academy des Orms, however, I smiled at them innocently. Living away from your parents is the sacrifice you make for such an education, you see. Your Highness! Highness! <laughs> they look at me with tear-filled eyes once again, possibly because I just trod on their foot. <laughs> but this time, they weep from sheer joy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but this time they overact. For <laughs> oh, your highness, your highness. So thank you most for my heart's most bottom. <laughs> Don't think this is simply kindness on my part either. True, it is remarkable for you to be accepted at such young ages, but you won't be the first ones or the last ones for that matter. Go ahead, Laura. But your highness, we're not worthy. One of them pleads with me in an incredibly annoying accent. <laughs> you, were slipped past, you slipped past the royal guards who were educated there. Could you recognize them in the lineup? I think I need to have a word with them. 
<laughs> Believe me, you are both more than qualified and will do just fine. The Royal Guards, on the other hand? Well, <laughs> I hope you weren't friends with any of them. <laughs> the other girl bites her lip. Your Highness, you truly are a person de deserving of that title. I remark Oh, but I did nothing. I bark casually. You never met me here, and your acceptance into the Royal Magic Academy will be truly be entirely on your own merits. The two girls nod in comprehension. Now, for my last order, I command you both to live your lives to the fullest. Therefore, you will stop crying and start smiling instead. They drop their staves on the grass and rush up to me. Before I realize what's happening, a threesome. Uh, before I realize what's happening, <laughs> oh they God. both thrown their arms around me and have buried their faces into my chest, sobbing hysterically. <laughs> Technically, it's a massive breach of protocol. But at least they could have waited for me to take their trousers, my trousers off. But God. your trousers off. I wish I could put my trousers on. <laughs> but yeah, you know, somebody's gonna be some poor sod's gonna be. Well, this is gonna be the first one of them to see, and I think uh, they're gonna be so confused by everything. Uh, but especially that last statement. <laughs> He's saying, but, "Go back and watch." <laughs> yeah, basically. Why haven't you? We'll wait. <laughs> okay, you've had time. Moving on. <laughs> Technically, it's been a massive breach of protocol, but they've both been living such hard lives. I know they can't help it, and it's the, on the only way they can express their feelings about the little bit of happiness I've given them. It's a damn big bit of happiness, especially <laughs> when I'm happy. <laughs> I, I am so sorry. I, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I hope that he took their names down. I know. He's going to talk to him. They walk away, and it's like, hmm. <laughs> quite ironically, that my dream stirred something inside me. <laughs> I reveal myself. <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful. Do you know how long it's taken us to do that? Uh, like twenty minutes. A little over, yes. Nearly 23 minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hope this bit's short because we're probably going to end up on yet another cliffhanger. <laughs> you don't do it on purpose, I promise you. <laughs> well, I'm at the park again. I guess it's not a bad place to meet. There's no bubble tea to start off with. Hey, yo. Hi, Claire. How are you today? Not so bad. Let's go for a walk. We meander down the path. Just to made her into a liar. She wanted to go to a walk. We ended up meandering. <laughs> we meander down the park towards the dear nearby river. So, yo, how are things with Rena? What a question to start off with. I wish she would find something else to talk about for a change. I thought you said you were going to leave us alone from now on. What can I say? Old habits die hard. But really, I was asking seriously this time. How are things with Rena? Well, what should I say? I can't tell her or I refuse to answer. Um... So do we have the negative or do we have the negative? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, just refuse to answer and see if she prompts you a little bit more. Uh, I don't know, we are walking close to the river and uh, Claire <laughs> is known to bouts of temper. But let's give it a try. <laughs> I'd rather not talk about Rena right now. Can't we find something else to discuss? I suppose. So, I heard you would be coming in a taco, is that true? Yes, I've, I've got the robes and everything. <laughs> what? I don't know. Maybe. There you go with the maybes again. Well, I've got all their albums. <laughs> hey, it's perfectly serv serviceable English word. Don't knock it until you've tried it. Fine, well, maybe you shouldn't use it so much. <laughs> maybe you should be such a bitch. <laughs> Do my ears deceive me, or did you just say it? You don't really have the standing to criticize me if you're saying it now, too. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't be... 
You can't have it both ways, you know. No, no, you have it one way, you get your breath back, you have it the other way. <laughs> Claire and I finish our stroll by the river, teasing and joking around as we usually do. You're like, yeah. yeah, thank you. You've got one line in this. <laughs> I spend some time practicing my magic, and there is where we end it, believe it or not. <laughs> At least we got one of the characters in. <laughs> <laughs> I like that though. I think that was quite a good episode. <laughs> that was loads of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right, excellent. All right. Okay. Well, in that case, thank you very much to my, and I hope you're listening, Laura, my wonderful friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am indeed. <laughs> I, I might survive the evening. That's good to know. <laughs> So until the next time, thank you and good night. Bye. Bye.